hello guys in this video we're gonna talk about google analytics how you can set up your google analytics account and connect it with your wordpress website so those of you guys like i said those of you guys who are new let me show you or let me tell you what google analytics is google analytics is a tool provided by the google to track your traffic where your traffic is coming from is it coming from the google is it coming from the facebook where is it coming from how much traffic you got how many returning visitors are and what they are doing with pay which page they are on how much visitors are on what page so all of these traffics are tracked by a tool by a by the google and the name of the tool is google analytics so we will set up the google analytics account and we will uh, connect that google analytics account with our website and that google analytics account will show us how much traffic we get every day that uh, that google analytics account does not show instantly where your traffic is coming okay uh, it just takes sometimes one or two days and then it shows how much traffic you got in the previous day for example Today we set up our Google Analytics account and tomorrow Google Analytics account will show us how much traffic we got previous day that means this day okay so that's what it uh, that tools does but m the good thing about Google Analytics is that Google Analytics account al also show us the uh, what we say real time traffic real time traffic means how much visitors are on your website right now okay that also shows us but that is not what i'm talking about that is not in depth okay if you want to see in depth detail of your visitors what they are doing and uh, where they are coming from if you want to see all that 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 uh, reports are always take 24 hours okay that reports we will get those reports by tomorrow okay but if you want to see instantly how much visitors are right now on my website okay that's what also tools can show us okay okay so now the first thing is let's set up the google analytics account so let's go to the google okay okay now what you need to do i'm i'm already logged in i'm gonna log out and okay write google analytics click on this okay click on sign in and click on google analytics okay we have to sign in okay uh, these are my fellows instructors account so i'm gonna click on the first one i know the passwords of their accounts <laughs> they know mine okay so i'm gonna log in with this account and i'm gonna enter the password sign in okay this is it so what we are gonna do now we're gonna sign up for the google analytics okay click on sign up okay now we are uh, you can say pretty much signed up but we have to provide all of this information to uh, to completely sign up for the you can say uh, for the google analytics okay now uh, there are two methods by, by website and by mobile app but we have website okay okay now the account name what account name you want for example you can uh, N name it with your website name for example name of the website is health i'm gonna write health it's just a dummy name okay website name and that is the most important and that is also health you can name anything as your account name okay now we have the url we have not uploaded it anywhere okay but uh so let's use this localhost okay uh, let's use this blogs oh, oops this blogs url okay imagine our website is uploaded okay oh, and we are gonna paste this r link right here okay industry category what kind of uh, website what your website is about for example it's about food and drink and reporting time zone this one this one okay keep these settings as it is and click on get tracking id okay all right 
now we have some settings to use Google Analytics account you must first accept terms of service agreement for your country region residence okay everything set up select your country and click on I accept okay done we are all done with Google Analytics account okay we are signed up now it's time to add our uh, connect our uh, website with our Google Analytics account now to use that what you need to do you need to go to this property settings okay now here we have all what we need okay this is the tracking ID this tracking ID will be used as our Google uh, you can say unique code for our Google Analytics account okay and this ID will be used to track the traffic from our website okay so now we are all done what we need to do now is we need a plugin where we will provide our this ID right here okay and that plugin will track our traffic right on our admin panel we don't need to always log into the uh, Google Analytics account and sh see the reporting but you can do you can always log into your Google Analytics account and sh sh see the reporting but I always use that plugin to see what is going on okay like I was talking about the real time that is this when you will click on this real time you will see how many visitors you have right now on your website I'm gonna close this okay right now we have zero visitors on the website okay but when users will come it will go up and will show that which page they are on which, what location they have what keywords they are using what is social traffic referrals but it is not in detail it is instant but for the detail you need to go to the audience and click on overview and this shows your actual number of uh, visitors that you had previous day okay and this is the graph and it will uh, it, you can choose the month which month their tra traffic is coming from you can see this is Tuesday 3rd November 2015 session 0 and all this okay so this is the detail about the traffic and that is in the audience and clicking on the overview and it updates every 24 hour okay but for the real time click on the overview and you will see the real time traffic that is coming to our website right now okay so this is how we set up and Google Analytics is all done okay so I'm gonna close this okay so we are all set what we need to do now is add a plugin and connect that plugin with our Google Analytics account that we just created now okay and I will show you how in the next video so thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next video